Boom, massive pick for the Carolina Panthers in the sixth round. In my opinion, an underrated pick and one of the most underrated picks of this whole draft as the Carolina Panthers go up and grab yet another South Carolina Gamecock. Obviously, they took with the eighth overall pick, J.C. Horn, who I love. That was an amazing pick, great pick there. But then later in this sixth round, the Panthers add yet another pass catcher on top of Terrace Marshall, on top of Tremble. They go out and they grab Shy Smith, wide receiver out of South Carolina. And it's obvious that I'm a South Carolina fan, so obviously I'm going to be a bit biased towards how I talk about these guys. But, like, I'm dead serious when I say Shy Smith is a complete winner of a pick in this scenario. And that's what I'm going to be going through in this video, just going through a bit of a draft analysis, going through some of Shy Smith's career highlights and what I really like about him and what he can bring to the Panthers. First of all, with the Panthers, with Curtis Samuel exiting this year, I'm pretty sure he went to the football team. Shy Smith reminds me a lot of what Curtis Samuel brought to the Panthers. So I think he's going to fill in really, really well for that position. You're going to see Shy Smith play the slot a lot, in my opinion. He could also play out wide, dual threat like that. Lots to love about Shy Smith. First of all, he ran one of the fastest 40 times in all of Pro Day. He was up there. I think he tied for third in Pro Day. And it was like Anthony Schwartz, Rondell Moore, and then you have Shy Smith tied with a couple other guys up there. But Shy Smith is a speedster. This kid can run, but it's not even that. That's not even the best part about him, in my opinion. It's just how fast he is and how well he can catch the ball and everything. There's so many different highlights that I could bring up, so many different stats. If we want to go through his stats right now, 2017, his freshman season, I remember that season. We have Debo Samuel. We have Brian Edwards on that team. Even Ortre Smith, who also had a huge freshman season. And you have Shai Smith, who goes 29 receptions, 409 yards, zero drops on the season. Shai Smith had absolutely zero drops last se or that his freshman season. And he had some pretty big catches, too. I remember one, I was actually at this game against Florida in 2017. Nice one-handed catch near the sideline in the red zone you go to big games like a game against Michigan the Outback Bowl when South Carolina is starting to come back in that game he runs a big wheel route down the sideline touchdown gives South Carolina the lead I'm pretty sure against Michigan so constant he's been a big playmaker ever since he stepped on the field for South Carolina and his future his ceiling was really high and he got to that ceiling this guy was a huge 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 force for the Gamecocks every single season you look at 2018 again this is a receiving core with Brian Edwards, Debo Samuel, and Ortre Smith, too, back then, and Hayden Hurst. Hayden Hurst was in that one in 2017, but I look at 2018. 2017, Debo was hurt after the first three games, but 2018, we had all three of those big guys for the whole season. You had Brian Edwards, you had Debo Samuel, and you had Shai Smith, and they were still able to go out, and Shai was able to still able to go out and put up some really big numbers. 45 receptions, 673 yards, 15 average and four touchdowns in his 2018 season. Again, super stacked wide receiver core there, but just constantly showing up. 2019, I also thought he had a really big season. Again, Debo Samuel moves on to the 49ers that season. You still got Brian Edwards, who was kind of the leader on this receiving core still, but Shai still was able to go out and have an amazing season. 43 receptions, 489 yards, 11.4 average, and two touchdowns. And then you look at 2020, where Shai Smith was the Gamecocks' leading receiver, and he was wide receiver number one for the Gamecocks. And through all of this, the quarterback posi his position was never anything really, really steady, especially in this 2020 season, which is what I really want to emphasize, which I think is why he's dropped so far down these leaderboards. The Gamecocks could not throw a ball over 20 yards to save their lives in this season. So I think that took a big hit on Shai Smith because he was such a deep ball threat in so many different parts of the seasons before and did have so many of those 20 plus yard catches that in this season, it was just a lot of short plays and he went 57 receptions, 633 yards for four touchdowns. And I think he did deal with an injury towards the end of the season, but still go and turn on the highlights of it. I'll bring you to, I thought his best play of the season was, many people will argue this one, but Ole Miss, first drive of the game for South Carolina, just running a fade towards the end zone. Colin Hill tosses up a ball. Shy just goes up with one hand, picks it in, touchdown South Carolina. Another one, Auburn. Auburn jumps offside. South Carolina gets a free play. Colin Hill chucks it up in the end zone. Shy Smith climbs a ladder, absolute ladder. Like, this ball was thrown pretty high up there. He just jumps up, gets it, brings it down. Touchdown, South Carolina. Another one against Auburn. You look at that Auburn game. There was a ball. He was just running a streak down the sideline. Ball gets thrown up. 
50-50 ball. Shai Smith has to juggle it a couple times, and he come da- comes down with it. Just his ball skills and everything catching the ball is amazing, but not to mention, of course, I've talked about this again, how fast Shai Smith is for this team, for this Carolina Panthers team. You look at the Panthers receiving core right now, and it has grown immensely. Of course, in that <laughs> NFC South division, you need wide receivers. Take a look at what Atlanta's just done. Julio Jones, Calvin Ridley, if we're going to talk Gamecocks, you got Hayden Hurst, obviously, there too. And then you just add the second best player in the whole draft, Kyle Pitts, in that receiving room. You look at the Buccaneers, Scotty Miller, Mike Evans, Chris Godwin, and it keeps going on. They had Gronk and Antonio Brown and everything. They are stacked over there in Tampa Bay. And then you even look at the Saints. Like, the Saints got some pretty good guys too. You need to help Sam Darnold, and they, that's what the Panthers are doing. That's what they've really focused on. Yes, you still go and get some defensive weapons to build on this Carolina Panthers defense. Of course, they take JC in the first round, which I think was an amazing move because you need someone to cover all those wide receivers. But giving Sam Darnold help in his first season at Carolina will also really, really help him. Terrace Marshall, I really like that pick. You still got DJ Moore pick up his fifth-year option, which I think he is going to have a huge season. He's secretly been one of the best wide receivers in all the NFL. It's just he doesn't get the attention he deserves because he's been on the Panthers, which if we're being honest, the Panthers have been a weaker team over the last two years. So you're not necessarily going to get all the media attention that you would if, let's say, you're on a successful team like the Kansas City Chiefs. I think when you add Shai Smith, give him the potential, not to mention Shai also, kick return for the Gamecocks. I'm not sure if the Panthers will put him in there this season. There is a chance, but he did a decent job at kick returning for the Gamecocks. If you add Shy, get someone fast, because like I look at most of the guys on the board for the Panthers, all really, really good pass catchers, but not that guy, that slot position guy. I guess Terrace Marshall did play a lot of slot at LSU, but I still look at Terrace Marshall, and he's a guy who's more of your third down pass catcher who's just going to bring in every ball. Shy Smith's the guy which, if you get him open in space, only good things can happen. Only good things can happen, and he can, can catch the contested ball. So, Shy Smith out of South Carolina, absolutely amazing pick here for the Carolina Panthers. It keeps going on. I don't know who they're taking with this other pick in the sixth round. I'm looking. I love another Gamecock, Israel Mukwamu. Put Izzy and JC, bring them back on the Panthers, and then if you also have Shy Smith, it seems like Tepper and Matt Rule really like the Gamecocks, so I would not be surprised. But thank you guys so much for tuning into this video. Of course, keep pounding as always. It's going to be a good season next year. I'm actually really, really, really excited about what the Panthers are building in Carolina next season. Of course, the defense still needs work, but bringing in this new offense with Sam Darnold, I think his talent is just about to begin because anyone who's coached under Adam Gase... I don't know how you're expected to reach your full potential. But now that you have Matt Rule and you have a new team, a new experienced offense with lots of good players, CMC, lots of good players all around you in Carolina, it's going to be a fun, fun season. So thank you guys so much for tuning into this video. Like down below, subscribe down below, comment anything about Shy Smith or the Carolina Panthers. Keep pounding as always. Thanks for watching and definitely come back next time.